it feels like a really summery, positive, optimistic song, and it's not often that we have... Any of those. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this song was written in the midst of lockdown, and it's about, you know, wanting to close your eyes and escape and be anywhere else, and I think you can probably tell where that came from. But, yeah, I don't know, it still, it still feels like, you know, in a, in a world where travel still isn't really a thing. Obviously, we've been very fortunate over the last 10 years to travel the world a bunch of times and see other places and be, you know, in these in very different environments to, 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 to what's normal for us. So I guess there's a little bit of that wanderlust in the song as well, like, um, and about like the, the transportive powers of entertainment and of films and of music and, and videos and all that kind of stuff. And it feels like a really summery, positive, optimistic song and it's not often that we have any of those? No, <laughs> no. It's like a it's like a moment of like brightness in an otherwise quite sort of complicated and in, in places quite dark album. Probably our we, shortest song ever. Yeah, two minutes and fifteen seconds. Wow, well. it's pretty pretty short. Let's play it twice, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> so Thelma and Louise is a great film. It's a really great with. film. Yeah, it's a feminist classic, and it's you know iconic. In its imagery, it was a sort of mainstream Hollywood film about two, two slightly older women, like obviously not old at all, but just compared to like the 20 year olds who were starring in Hollywood films at the time. And I guess it's about escapism and it's about freedom and liberation. And uh, it's just, it's, it's brilliant. It's really fun, entertaining film, but you know, it says a lot as well. And the image of them in this, in this old Thunderbird top down car, headscarves on, holding hands and driving off a cliff. It's kind of like one of the iconic Hollywood old school kind of images for, for escapism that felt totally perfect for this, this sort of moment in the album where we go and, you know, into, into that film, into that desert scape. Uh, and the video, we wanted it to be, it's like episode two of the album. So we've, we've introduced this tech and the innerverse and future scape and stuff in the first video. And then this is Remy's character and I both basically plugging in. So you, it sets it up in the same world as, you, as, as Distorted Light being the previous song's world. And then we sort of like basically turn into animated versions of ourselves. And we are jumping around this sort of uh, Inception-esque surrealist version of the city we were just in, um, out of all the squares of um, of, of skyscraper, uh, emerge ginormous cubed versions of these three guys. We just want, yeah, we just wanted to make something that was kind of like suitably suitably bonkers, and got to work with Balash, who's an amazing um, animation director. So it's a mix of like of, of real world and animated surrealism. It's just, again, a video like this, we just feel really excited that we get to make stuff like this and get to collaborate with people. You know, Balash and a whole team uh, in Austria have just been working away like morning, noon and night on this for months. So um, yeah, we're excited to have it out.